So electric mountain bikes are becoming more popular, with many companies releasing new models all the time. But one criticism I've always had though, is the price of these bikes. But Polygon is hoping to make electric mountain bikes affordable to the masses with their new Colossus N80. So in this video, we're gonna check out the specs, builds, and pricing of the N80 to see if Polygon has a winner. So now, let's check out the Polygon Colossus N80. So the Colossus N80 is the newest entry in the Enduro e mountain bike category. It's based off of their Colossus N9 Enduro bike and has a six bar independent flowing suspension platform that's designed to optimize the wheel path to minimize square edge hits, has small bump compliance, and allows for high efficient power transfer. The N80 comes with an aluminum frame and 160 millimeters of travel in the front and in the rear. The motor is a Shimano EP801 that provides 85 newton meters of torque up to 20 miles an hour. It comes with four power modes, Eco, Trail, Boost, and Walk Assist. It also comes with Shimano's app called the E2 Project that lets the rider customize the assistance of each mode. It also comes with a 630 watt battery that's integrated into the down tube. And like most e-bikes, range depends on a lot of variables. Polygon says that 62 miles is possible in the optimal conditions. The bike is designed around 29 inch wheels, has a 64 and a half degree head angle, 435 millimeter chain stays, and a 77 degree effective seat tube angle. And if you know a lot about Polygon, then this bike might look a little familiar since it appears that the N80 has taken the place of the Mount Bromo e-mountain bike. The N80 only has one available build. It comes with a Fox 38 Float Performance Elite Fork and a Fox Float X2 shock. It has a Shimano XT drivetrain with a 12-speed 51 tooth cassette. The brakes are Shimano XTs with 203mm rotors in the front and in the rear. It also has Entity XL2 wheels with Shimano hubs and Schwalbe Magic Mary tires both in the front and rear. It also comes with a Trans-X dropper post, and all touch points are provided by Entity, and the Colossus N80 retails for $5,099. So I really like what Polygon has done with the Colossus N80, usually with most e-bikes. My biggest complaint is that they're so expensive that only select few can actually afford them. But Polygon continues to make good bikes with modern geometry, clean designs, great builds, and at prices that doesn't make the consumer have to take out a second mortgage to afford them. So kudos to Polygon for making a cool e-mountain bike for the masses. My only other complaint is I don't have one in my riding stable, but I'm hoping to test one one day so I can give my impressions. But that's just my opinion. But what really matters is, are you excited for the Colossus N80? Do you plan on buying one? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great one.